many graduates get desperate because of unemployment. Have you ever imagined instead of waiting to be employed, you could use that training to be an employer yourself? Today, Irene Olwande, an editor for the Tivet Star newspaper, is here to share with us more. Irene, karibu sana. Nono kwa na karatasi na kitabu. Thank you so much for having me. Yes, uh -huh. I am always in my elements, mm. any day, any time, anywhere. Okay. Yes. So an editor. I'm amazed. You look very young to be an editor. I am. Uh -huh. So um, what is the genesis? So uh, I'd say, first of all, I'm Irene Olwander. Mm -hmm. I have practiced journalism. I have uh, education, background education in journalism. I graduated from a senior university uh -huh. with the uh, skills in print journalism. Uh, I have, before getting here, I've always wanted to be in the journalism sector. As a young girl, I wanted to be a news anchor. Um, my icon was always Angogi. For me, she was outstanding because of her short hair. She used to be plump. She was not what so many ladies would be, or she was not the basic outfit or the basic character you'll see on the television. So I was always amazed by her. Um, body, her physique, her uniqueness, her short hair. So I always wanted to be there because as a young girl I had short hair, so she was an icon to me. Besides that, um, my family played a big role, has played a big role in my journalism career. Um, when I was a little girl, my dad used to bring newspapers all the time into the house and he'd always encourage us to read. It was either a newspaper or a magazine and he'd always ask us what have you what did you read yesterday what have you read today what has stood out for you mm -hmm. and given that my dad has been in the journalism field he was in the advertisement field um, and when he used to bring home these newspapers he'd always tell us oh today this is my advert I actually booked it wow. so that spurred the interest in me wanting to work in the journalism field but I knew not in the advertising field um, so as I grew up I always wanted to be a news anchor a TV anchor. I just wanted to host a show. Mm -hmm. But things changed when I joined campus for me. Um, given I joined a city campus, um, I was not able to get the practical sides of either TV production or radio. So I majored in print because uh, all along I've been a very strong writer, mm -hmm. right from childhood, whether English, composition, insha, I've been a good writer. I've always written so well. And that has been my strong suit or my stronghold. So it wasn't difficult for me to switch from wanting to be on TV to being on print mm -hmm. completely. So what is the history of TV Star newspaper? So the Tivet Star newspaper is a monthly publication. Um, Tivet Star started out, you'd wonder why the Tivet. So Tivet means technical vocational education training. Um, why Tivet is because, um, first of all, as I said, I'm a university graduate, degree holder. But I've, I've faced the challenges I faced so that I could only graduate. I went to school, I paid my dues, paid my school fees, did everything. But we all know the university system, how it, sometimes it's so unfair to its own students. You either have missing marks that take you years, or the system you're placed in does not go well with how you, the education, you're, how uh, you're supposed to uh, take in your education. Like, for instance, in my account, I started my... You, when you join campus, you start with first year, first semester. But when I joined, I st started with second year, second semester. Then I finished my fourth year with first year first semester so it was a module that you are placed where there is a lot where there's a quorum and you go so for that reason i really had issues with missing marks and etc etc that ate into my graduation time because they could never be traced because i was in various lots um, i studied with various lots within the campus so i this challenge it really ate me up because um, every year you look forward to your graduation, every year, every year you follow up and there's always that 
um, news that, ah, unfortunately, you're not going to graduate because we still have two more missing marks. We mm -hmm. can't trace them. Or unfortunately, this and this is happening. So that frustration, that anger of me not being able to graduate uh, spurred in me the, the urge to have to actually not only look into the education I have, but to acquire skills. So I, 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 did, I did start the Tivet Star newspaper together with family members, that is my father and my brothers. Mm -hmm. So we, my, my, our second, my second born follower, I'm the first born. My second born follower also graduated from the university, but we all know the challenge of unemployment. We have tarmacs to look for employment. We all know how it is out here currently. Mm -hmm. um, and this, um, and my dad has been, my parents have been supporting us through and through. I thank God that they have been people who, they have not been pushing us so hard to, you know, to, to the level where we can actually get mental uh, torture of why are we not employed. They have been supporting us. Mm -hmm. So my dad saw this frustration, both in myself and in my siblings, okay. of I have graduates and they can't find employment. It, for my case, I don't have the paper. I can I have not graduated, um, but I did graduate finally this year in February. Um, my brother, he has the papers, but either you're told you're too young or there's always a reason of why you cannot be taken in. So when my dad came on board and told us, I want us to start something. I want us to have something for us. Mm -hmm. We had very many ideas. We can do this, we can do that. The conceptualization, we had so many ideas on the table. But why we started the newspaper was because my dad has skills in advertising within the print sector, within the journalism field. I myself have studied journalism. I'm good at writing. And my brother, he has, he has good skills in terms of getting to get business or um, talking to clients. So we decided, why not? And also the frustration of being in a university, graduating and not, you ha you're graduating with the theoretical skills and mm -hmm. you don't have the technical skills. Partly this also affects your job hunting. So we decided to actually be in the TVET because also if, as a family, we knew that we had a solution of a TVET that would offer the journalism course, I would have taken it, whether it would have been for four years, but I would have known. I would have studied in a TVET institution, I would have gotten both the theoretical and the technical or the skills part of it. So it's this whole frustration, these challenges, made us come together and made us do the Tibet Star newspaper so that we can actually talk about what people do not know. Because just imagine my dad is somebody who's learned. He knew about Tibet institutions, but he was like, no, you know, at that time, mm. you have to go to the university. <laughs> that is the pass mark of it all. Yeah. But I think for me, if, if, if we had a little bit idea or we had this more knowledge on you can do this, you can thrive even if you do in that, even if you work in a Tibet sector or if you're taught in the Tibet sector, you can actually thrive, mm -hmm. you can get both the theoretical and the skills part, then I think I would have taken that option. So having come up with the Tibet Star newspaper was because, um, with the Tibet newspaper was because um, we really want to empower, we want to sensitize, we want to educate the youth, we want to educate the community and the society at large of the opportunities that exist within the education system, within the higher learning education sector it's not only universities you can also get it in other sectors mm, interesting seeing that your stronghold is print did you ever get a chance to train on the other sectors oh yes i did um as much as i i really majored in print journalism mm -hmm. i have skills wide in the journalism sector um what i did actually do i never waited to be taught some mm -hmm. of these things mm -hmm. um when i was in campus i used to make use of the um, IT, our uh, computer laboratory so much and I would also always um, got amazed on what is actually happening, how did these videos come to play. So I remember when I first encountered video editing and I got interested in the editing part of um, video and audio was when we were given an assignment in campus. The first time was hell. I tried <laughs> editing and it was not coming through. But I was like, I was determined. Until I um, handed in my assignment mm. and when we were graded I actually performed well mm. and I was like okay this is something I can do it was a just one unit assignment but I got that interest of I want to learn more 
so i actually took it upon myself to look for uh, video editors or audio editors that i can use and started training myself personally i will just edit funny funny clips just small small clips so that i can um, have that skill and get to train myself more um, not only um, the editing skills that I have uh, I've also gotten in I also got interest um, in social media digital uh, digital marketing I'll say social media content creation um, given that I for a long time I, I was not employed I said I'd, I wanted to put my journalism skills to use mm -hmm. so I got interest in social media content creation and I've actually worked for a few institutions as their social media content creator so I have actually had interest in the whole journalism sector but I've also acquired my own skills like getting to know how things work here and there so that I don't only have one skill mm -hmm. but I'm a bit vast yes and uh, how easy is it to start something like this? Do you, is it just so easy, Ama, you have to have some skill? It's not easy, mm -hmm. let's be honest. <laughs> it's not, first of all, uh. um, it's not easy, but you can do it. Um, the reason I say this is because first, there's the whole idea of it all. Mm. Um, during this whole conceptualization, this, during this whole process of developing your idea mm -hmm. you keep second guessing you keep um improving what your your initial idea so there's that it, it's not easy um because at first there's always that fear i'd say that and that fear is what you need to overcome first for you to move forward so it is not easy but it's it's doable um once you move past the ideology part of it you thinking about it and start by putting something on ground first, you can do it. For instance, when we were starting the Tivet um, newspaper, it started sometime, I'd say late last year. You see how it started way back. Mm -hmm. Because we had discussions. Why, why are we doing the newspaper? Why can't we do this? Then how will we get our clients? What if we don't get it? How will we fight with the big giants in the industry? Mm -hmm. How will we make our footing? So those were some of the questions we got to ask ourselves as a team mm -hmm. that was working or was um, building this idea. We really had a lot of questions. We really had a lot of doubts. But we were like, we won't know until we try. Then we said, okay. Let's do a fast rerun. Let's see if you can do three reruns and see how it comes out. When we did the first newspaper, we were so happy. It had a lot of mistakes, <laughs> so many mistakes, but we were so excited and we're like, wow, we have something. Yeah. We were very happy. We did the second one, still had the many mistakes, but we were so excited. The third one, that's when we now we started improving a bit. We started realizing how we now we want to actually place ourselves in the sector so that we also get known amongst the big giants who exist. Mm. So we, it's, it's, it's not that easy. But once you get past the ideology point, once you get past that fear, mm -hmm. and once you even put that initiative, then you will get there. And if you think of something, that means you can do it. If, you, if you've ever thought of something, I want to do this business, I want to start this venture, I want to start this initiative, that means you have the capacity of the capability of doing it. Even if you can start it alone, then have a team come in later, you can do it. Uh, what of the startup cap capital? That question. Wow. Um, we didn't have money when we were starting the TV newspaper. Mm. We started it, first of all, I'd say, we started it when we were looking at various sources. We had to, as I've said, it started late last year. So we had to start thinking of how will we do the first publication or how, how will we do the first republication? How will we sustain ourselves? So for us as a publication, majorly now we sustain ourselves through subscriptions, member subscriptions. There are institutions that have subscribed to getting the copies monthly and um, we also do advertisements so that is one way then we also do profiles for, for institutions or for individuals who want the institutions or the activities to be profiled mm -hmm. so that is our way of sustainability um, for the first capital we actually did put a bit of money here and there we tried saving we tried having an, a bank of it um, and that's how we started but then again we also we also talked to um, those we, we scouted and we looked at the people who we thought we'd work with or who we knew we wanted to work with and we approached them, we told them, we have this idea, 
we want to have this um as sisters this is how much this is the money we have we can't pay you full right now how about we have this agreement for this three publications that we want to run and we will pay you as we move forward so it's as as much as somebody might not have the startup capital you can always look for there are always institutions that are always offering loans or you can always have an agreement with um a, somebody or with your I'd say a business partner or the person you who think can have an input within your, within your business um have a, an agreement and say within that agreement I uh, have a term of how you will work or engagement so that it will be easier for you also um to get to know how you'll finance all this at the end of the day so that you don't also get into big, big debts that you might not be able to service yes and uh, since you started what have uh, your achievements been so far um so the tvet newspaper has been is currently is barely one year old it's around seven this is the seventh publication we are doing um we have managed to garner various uh, clients within the industry who who have trusted us with uh, their information with their products to run in our in our publication mm -hmm. so having the major achievement has been having to convince or having to get those clients on board to agree to work with our newspaper the tvet newspaper has been very that is the greatest achievement because through that that is how we get sustainability through that that is how we are able to move and even have and even build our human resource and build ourselves and have the capacity building that we need um the other achievement has been actually just having the publication also being able to run we 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 are moving i'd say since its inception we have been doing well mm -hmm. um so we having had the publication run continuously monthly is also an achievement because when you start something and along there are challenges but when you start and you're able to at least keep it moving despite the few challenges then that means you're doing well you need to keep on going mm -hmm. on that what are the challenges you faced or the things that you went through but you came out strong wow we are still facing challenges mm. we are still facing challenges as i've said we are not yet a year old and we know for an initiative or a business to um for it to see two years that is always the mark of success mm. or of thriving mm. so now the challenges we've been having majorly as i say is um having to convince people to come on board mm. um many people do not believe in startup or startup initiatives by the youth and that is quite sad because people tend to think you're so young yeah. we cannot we cannot invest in you mm. as in maybe this is a lot of losses or or they'll tell you um give it a try then let us know in the next two years how it goes they want to see they test your faith you know so having right beyond those challenges of actually convincing partners or convincing clients that we are actually doing a good job mm. uh or we will deliver for you the uh, the same way the big giants do deliver mm. is actually a major challenge mm. um then also we have the clients who you who some of them do not wish to invest if it's not if they do not know mm. who is behind this then people want to know who is behind the publication yeah. oh so if it's somebody we don't know then i'm sorry we can't invest or we can't give you business so that is the major challenge we have but at the end of the day we are always thankful that um we have people who believe in the product we have people who see the sense in the product mm -hmm. and know that as much as it's an initiative by youths and and by by the youths it's something that actually is geared towards sensitizing um the society at large and uh, media plays a role a big role in being the watchdog of society how does this play in your tv star newspaper so being a watchdog means you get to relay the correct information the right information mm. the, the 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 most relevant information to your readers mm. or to your <clears throat> to your audience So for the Tibet Star newspaper we are a watchdog by we ensuring we work closely with these institutions we have a wide network we have a network that we tap into and they are our sources uh, we ask them what happens within your institution so that we have the right information so that when we are um uh, giving out information 
or whatever we are writing out in our publication it is verified because it's coming from an institution that it's doing it and we can prove that this is our source it is happening and it is it does exist where do you see yourself progressing in future for the newspaper <sighs> I have big dreams. Let's say we have big dreams as a team of the Tibet Star newspaper. We want to see this as a household name. Um, given that we are measuring in a sector that not so many people or the community does not know much about. Mm. So we are seeing ourselves in the next one year, in the next two years, we want to be a household name. We want to have um, impacted more lives than the lives we have impacted currently. Um, through our publication, a few students have gotten to get placements within the Tibet institution simply because they were not aware. Mm -hmm. And you know, we are our publication is majorly. Uh, we also distribute. It's national, but we also distribute. We ensure that we distribute it within the rural uh, setup, so that and uh, the rural setup, so that, and the informal setup, so mm -hmm. that. They, they are the under, they are the minorities, they are the ones who don't have this knowledge. And sometimes when they get this knowledge, they are so surprised that actually there is an institution that I can join with the grades I have and do something and in, uh, improve my life. Mm -hmm. So in the next few years, we want to impact more lives than the ones we have impacted. Mm -hmm. And in the next few years, we want to have, we are, we are aiming at having more partners and more stakeholders come on board and work with us mm -hmm. so that we can, you know, you cannot be alone in the sector. So we are aiming at having more partners, more stakeholders come on board, join hands, and in and also just widen our network at large. Yes, nationally and internationally. Mm -hmm. yes. And so there are many trained journalists who have given up on their degrees because of the high rate of unemployment. What advice can you give? Look beyond what you've studied for. Just look beyond that. For me, I looked beyond... The, the 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 graduation I, I looked beyond the school mm -hmm. the fact that I went to school and did media um, I looked beyond it and and said I have the skills I gained the skills I gained the the know-how mm -hmm. so how am I going to use it to propel myself as much as I'm ch still trying to find a footing so look beyond the education have that education but have some skill that will help you move past it also be street wise and street smart um just try to adapt or get us currently we have even digital platforms and use that there are people who are making a living out of that so find a suit for for what will work for you learn the sector you are in like now learn the journalism sector it has taken me I've gotten to learn the sector and go to know we have TV, radio, print. Now we have the digital platform. How am I able to use this? Develop yourself beyond what you have, beyond what you have studied for. Mm -hmm. Also, um, unemployment eats so much. I've been there. I know it, it mentally eats you and not only you, even your family. It eats them up so much. Mm -hmm. And just have a support system that you know when you feel like, I think I'm crashing today. Have somebody you can call and say, I need, I need you. I need to talk. And they will be there for you. So have a support system that will be with you through and through. At times, we mess up. Things do not go the right way. But always be sure. Always know that it is a learning process. You know, um, you'll fail. You'll you start an initiative, you'll fail, you'll do this, but it is a learning process. So don't give up when it has gone down. Don't give up when you have disappointed your support system. Have that courage to say, I'm sorry, but I still need you. Can we move past this? And have an initiative mindset. Um, by initiative mindset, I mean, you always have random thoughts passing by your mind. Sometimes those random thoughts can build something, can help you build an empire. Run them through somebody and see what that random thought can build up. Thank you so much for coming. I have learned a lot, learned a lot from you. I am a journalist myself, but your mindset has kept me thinking, what else can I do? I will also challenge you. What do you have out there? That idea you have, go knock on those doors that you are afraid to knock at and you will get out there with a lesson or a challenge that you will be taking up. This has been Youth in Action. I am Nyangweso Grenis.
this is the way to do it.